We're digging deeper tonight into an issue brought up by the case of that 20 year old Dante Wright of Minnesota. The officer who shot him says she mistook her gun for her taser. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Jane Monreal. Fox 4 investigative reporter Katie Legrone has learned while these incidents are extremely rare, they do happen. And this one is reigniting a question that's been heating up for years. The video of 20 year old Dante Wright being shot by a police officer depicts number 17. That's the number of known times an officer in the U.S. has mistakenly fired a gun instead of taser, injuring or in this case, killing the person on the other side of the barrel. Cases like these are extremely rare and almost always fuel cries of police criticism, lack of training. We can't train our way out of it. We, what we need is we need a, a design change. Paul Taylor, a former officer who now teaches criminal justice at the University of Colorado in Denver, is calling for a new ergonomic design for tasers used by law enforcement, making them look and operate less like a gun. Last year, he even wrote about it on a nonprofit criminal justice site. Guns and tasers solving cops weapon confusion problem. We don't have a lot of attentional resources. That's time compressed that we have to make very rapid decisions. And if this is the work environment in which officers face, then we need to design tools that facilitate that work environment and anticipate these errors rather than rely on officers being perfect. It's a call for action some Florida law enforcement agencies agree with. We can never redesign or design any tool that's a thousand percent foolproof. This week, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said he even called Axon, the maker of tasers used by most law enforcement. It's a safe product, but if we can make it safer by color coding it, redesigning it so you have multiple fingers in it as opposed to holding it like a firearm, that would be a good thing. On its website, Axon offers a few taser models for officers in even fewer colors, including all black. That's obviously can be a real problem because the firearms are black as well. In a statement, Axon told us over the years it has implemented numerous features and training recommendations, including building taser energy weapons to look and feel different than a firearm. As for questions about a redesign, we are constantly improving our technology, but we have nothing new to announce at this time. For Taylor, the shooting of Dante Wright marks the 17th reason he says for the company to reconsider. Officers with 20 plus years of experience, all the way down to brand new officers, um, we're seeing we're seeing these errors occur. All positions on the belt. Uh, I think it's time we take an, take another look at it. None of these 17 confirmed cases occurred here in Florida. Katie Legrand, Fox 4, in your corner.